Hey guys and girls, welcome back to The Witch in 100 Nights. So we made our way to the top, top most part of uh, Walpurgis. Um, it seems the, the witches are laughing now for some reason. Oh, it's a disco. Okay. Basically what happened in the last part is she got captured by the Tar Witch. And um, I'm on my way up basically to do my own thing. I guess rescue her because she's there, but yeah. This is... Where am I? Historic Proceedings Hall of Walpurgis. The one claiming to be the Swamp Witch. I was curious about her potential, but what a joke she turned out to be. Witch hunting has grown more common lately. Isn't that due to half-assed witches like her running around? Wait, who is this? Wasn't she one of the Swamp Witch's friends? Why would you bring her here? <laughs> You're so cruel, Lavi. Don't say her. Be nice and say, this dog. I thought something reeked. She has a canine curse, it seems. And this? What a half-assed curse! <laughs> to fail at this level is a totally amateur move. As always, Lavi. Your vocabulary is really, really close. Who would've did it, though? She said that she was present. When the Duchess gets here, you might get scolded The Duchess again. is dead. As far as we know. <sighs> Actually, Valentine seems to be absent again today. Really? Lucky me? <laughs> that old hag has some freaky eyes. <laughs> That old duchess should just roll over and die, huh, Lavi? That means she skipped out on the entire party this year. Anyway, shut up, Belda. You're such a weak little crybaby. Stop being such a downer all the time. Unless you want to die, of course. Well, well, I think you should quiet down. La -la -la -la. What the hell did she, she just say? <laughs> Purple peel. Why don't you try to keep your bratty apprentice under control? What would you have me do? We made her a witch this year. She can wipe her wow. own ass now. Okay, so the little girl is this giant muscular girl's apprentice. <laughs> That's because Lobby is the strongest, smartest witch of all. Huh? Ugh. Hmm? The Hundred Knight strolls into the witch's party with a confident, manly strut. <laughs> you stop right there. The witch blows on a spell book, and the Hundred Knight feels its consciousness begin to blur. Hmm. So that's the girl's familiar. Rumors say it's the legendary Hundred Knight, but this is the Hundred Knight. It barely qualifies as a counterfeit. Hmm. Doesn't look very strong. Whatever happened to that swamp witch? Did we kill her yet? If she's strong, let me have a stab at her. <laughs> she's not worth your time, Lavi. You saw her dance, didn't you? I admit, that was a pretty classic prank. I laughed enough for a have few to be, years. There has to be a pillar here. She really thought she could get here from that ordinary little mountain. Sometimes ignorance can be shocking. The Swamp Witch. Not even we had ever heard of such a person. Of course, she has no connections to any known witch. She looks like a bad egg to me. I bet she doesn't have a single friend. Isn't one of the duties of the Witch Party Council to dispose of any fools running around calling themselves witches. The Hundred Knight's head is spinning so much that it is difficult to remain standing. Oh no. How was I just so badly just destroyed? <laughs> How poetic. The Swamp Witch will pay dearly for making fun of me. What is this? You're all so selfish. Tricking those they don't like, hurting them, insulting them. This is certainly the true nature of witches. Oh, you're that. Now I understand. You're that princess rumored to have been cursed. 
You allowed yourself to be charmed by that girl, and now you've come all this way for her. I'm sure his what girl? majesty is beside himself with grief. What? What do you know? Despite being indoors, a thick fog blankets the area. Hush, everyone. The head witch is here. The head witch has arrived. The fog witch. The head witch. Right. All you lovely witches gathered here tonight, please be at ease. Wait, it's the cane. The cane's talking. From the heart, dust witch purple peel. Also from the heart, flame witch laviri lalula la. Hey, Nazaria. Why'd you list me second? Don't speak that way to Nazaria. How many times must I tell you to watch your tongue? And we made her a witch this year. Oh dear. Huh? You got a problem with it? Speak up, scum. N -n -n no. She's the scum okay. witch, right? Spell the lady. What? You're not gonna cry? When'd you get so boring, Felda? Settle down, all of you. From the border of the northern and eastern ice fields of Tsuinlaib, Thin Ice Witch Lilian. Honestly, just Lily is fine. From the Amataya Kingdom, Scum Witch Belda. From Chinque, Pumpkin Witch Ryubets. Correct. From the Witch Approval Ceremony, the newly ordained Tar Witch Teresa. Acting as a witness from the Amataya Kingdom, Master Viscal Dotrish. What? Me? And last but certainly not least is me, your head witch, Fog Witch Nazaria. Take note that the Duchess of Flowers, Great Witch Valentine. And for since, so without further, we have one last issue to address. Then I, Scum Witch Belda, shall voice my suggestion regarding the self proclaimed Swamp Witch, the girl named Metalia. What? Using witch powers in public without official training or any sort of approval is a dire offense. To top it off, She's also unabashedly guilty of laying her repulsive hands on Forest Witch Malia. I feel she should answer for her crimes as soon as possible. She killed Malia, you say? I suggest stripping her of all her magic powers by force if necessary. Wh what? If we siphon away her magic powers, we would be able to light the city lamps for another 100 years. Huh? You mean to say that little girl has a that much magic power? Absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, yeah! Let me be the one to execute her! But honestly, if she really has that much magic power, nobody else but me could hope to win against her. For a beautiful and perfect witch like the adorable Master Malia to be harmed, this is wholly unforgivable! We will make her pay! Settle down, everyone. Your opinions may be voiced later. <laughs> now it's time for that stupid swamp witch to pay her rent. Therefore, Head Witch Nazaria, I offer my solution to this issue. I request that the swamp witch be stripped of well, all magic powers. screw you, Balda. Jeez. Evil bastards. Hey! It's not like she's dead! The forest witch is still alive! This is just some dramatic soap opera to put down those you don't like! I ask that the beautiful witches in attendance offer their judgment on this issue. At this rate, Metalia will be... And Hundred Knight is still unconscious. Damn! Is there anything I could do? Is there a pillar here? Uh, an earthquake? What a sacred medallia! What a historic proceedings tower! 
<laughs> She's here. There is no pillar of temperance here. Without a swamp, how can you? I should offer my thanks. Rejoice! I will shower you with the gift of yeah, my Metallia. brilliant swamp. <laughs> Revenge time. No! Oh, it's making a mess. My maid's going to get all clumpy. Pipes, man, it stings. Doesn't it stink? What is this? Is this the swamp? It's no swamp I've ever been in. Making us carry all this swamp muck here. Ah, you know, she put the swamp inside off? the train. <laughs> Why do we have to do this? You're the ones who didn't notice that the ticket was a fake. I said not to transport dangerous goods. What about baggage inspections? The night train exits while its operators continue to argue about the need for a customs officer. What is all this? Teresa is knocked back and ends up getting layered with swamp mud from above. Nice. What? What is this? I can't see. Is this swamp mud? This smell? Is it poisonous? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Metalia. Look at this. Is the swamp witch? <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the greatest and mightiest witch of all, Swamp Witch Metalia! Because you all chose to pester me, I brought all this just for you! Rejoice by dancing, <laughs> bitches! <laughs> Metalia! This gas, it's so noxious. This doesn't look good. reward for tricking me taste my amazing swamp i brought enough for all of you to have your fill what what's this fool doing she's making such a mess this is actually wow. kind of fun speak up you third-rate witches tell me who isn't a real witch now <laughs> this kid's holding her head up <laughs> way too high Nobody's gonna answer me? Then let me teach you how to respond when someone asks you a question. I am the only true witch in this world. Born as a great witch. I am the strongest witch, Metallia! <laughs> this girl. Just when I thought she was feeling depressed and locked up in a room to pout. The whole time. She was plotting her revenge. <laughs> I like how she's laughing, though. <laughs> Girl, you're the one who did something bad to Malia. Huh. Just because you can break in here and make lots of noise doesn't mean you're strong. Witches have their own way of fighting. We gonna do this together, Dust Witch? Yeah, let's go, Lillian. Sorry, but I call dibs on the finishing blow. Let's avenge Malia tonight. I'll hogtie this fool and drown her in the swamp she loves so much! Very well. My blood is also boiling. I don't think I can hold in my rage anymore. Lillianne, handle the outer perimeter. I leave it to you to back me up. This made for quite the display, you damn swamp girl. You'll only live long enough to regret this. <laughs> Shut up, you third-rate bitch! <laughs> None of you are worthy opponents for me! This is Hundred Knight to fight! Awaken, Hundred Knight! I'm ready. unexpected but this is going to be our first joint assault isn't it oh, 
Natalia pulls out a small bottle and downs a thick green liquid. Now I'll show these maggots the true value of the swamp. So she was plotting this whole time. Oh, she is giant. Damn. Oh God, wait. Hold up. Hold up. I don't think we're supposed to be seeing those. Such power. This is far more than I thought possible. But because of that. Whoa! That's so stinking cool. Unbelievable. Now then, let's do this. All right. Oh my god, I'm fighting both of them? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die in five seconds. What's her name go? They're hopping around. You damn third rate witches! Don't screw with us. We're not done yet! <laughs> Jeez, you're persistent. This is getting annoying. Alright then. The giant Metallia Mirage waves a hand and lightning appears, aiming for the witches at the party. <laughs> Run around! Dance! Dance for me! Show me your bullshit wolfy shuffle! Swamp Witch, you are this powerful? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reubens! What are you doing? We must retreat! Dance if you want to live! Dance until you die! <laughs> You little shit! I said to dance! Do you want to be turned to dust? Fog begins to cloud the area. Whoa! This is kind of serious if even Nazaria is getting fired up. Nazaria intends to fight? <laughs> what a gathering of buffoons! Oh, the the Walpurgis party's over. It's morning. The Walpurgis party is about to end.
That's bull, though. She was just getting fired up. <laughs> the damn chicken has one more cry left before it's officially over. That's plenty of time for me to massacre this entire room. No! Wait, Metallia! I got the winter chicken! As long as I keep a solid grip on it, it can't let out its cry. This party won't end yet! <laughs> a job well done, Visco. Now we can take our time and have some more fun. We're all going to be killed, <laughs> aren't we? I said to wait, Metallia! Let me talk to their head witch! Huh? You're gonna try to cut a deal with her or something? Head witch? Nazaria, was it? Please listen to my suggestion as a witness to this party. Before this party ends, I... I want you to acknowledge Metallia as an official ordained witch. Wh what? You stupid mutt! Don't stick your neck out too far! I don't need these fools' approval. I was born a great witch! Enough! I'm speaking with the head witch right now. As you can see, Metallia can be quite outrageous. But as a witch, she is more than qualified, is she not? Because her magic is so strong, can't you accept her as a true witch? Oh, and if possible, can you start inviting her to the annual Walpurgis parties? How can you ask that? She made this much of a mess, and you expect us to let her participate? Yeah, well, Metellia definitely did some cruel stuff in the past. But you all are just as guilty of being cruel to Metellia. So, on both sides, why don't we all just overlook what's happened up till now? Uh, overlook it? Like hell I can forgive these pieces of trash for making a laughing stock out of me! So what? You'll kill them all? What'll that accomplish in the end? Will it really make you feel better? Whatever. I'll be so damn happy when they're dead. I'll be happy Funny when they're dead. Me. Like, come on, you're ruining this here, puppy girl. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep your cool for just a little bit longer, okay? Please, head witch, give us your judgment before she starts acting violent again. Hurry! You can't end the party until the chicken cries a third time, right? Surely you aren't. Nazaria, you can't listen to them. Your suggestion has been heard. A vote will now be taken. Those who approve of ordaining Metallia as a true witch, tap your cane. Huh? Tap my cane? Visco looks around nervously before unsheathing her sword and tapping it on the ground. I approve! One approves. We oppose, of course. You won't get off scot-free after doing this. One opposes. Current tally is one approval and one opposition. Y you What are you thinking? Yeah, well, she's kind of funny. <laughs> Lobby just wants the chance to fight Metallia later. Isn't that right? <laughs> you got it, Lord Funnykins. You really understand me. <sighs> you! I'll re-educate you later. I won't forget this. Two have approved. One has objected. Hey, wait! I... Damn it, Visco! The matter is resolved. Two have approved, and one objects. Under the witches gathered here at Walpurgis, we now officially recognize Metallia as the Swamp Witch. I suppose congratulations are in order, Malia. Hey, look, Malia's there. <laughs> Her mom did make it. Act 2, Chapter 6 finished. 
That's pretty funny. Whoa, there was there, a really loud noise there was from up on the second floor. A really floor. loud, loud noise from up on the second floor. I believe a parcel, has, believe arrived a parcel has arrived yes. for Master Leah. Yes. Master Leah. Yes. That bird sent another letter. What is it this time? <laughs> it's here! It's here! The Witch Bulletin. The Witch Bulletin. Only witches can subscribe to that. Yes. The day has finally come for me to make my name resonate all across the world. But seriously, that freaking Visco. I was going to suggest spreading my swamp around the world at that party. She intervened, and they didn't even consider me a witch before all that. What a worthless party. Now I'll need to use my own power to expand the swamp further and have my name recorded in history. Looks like she's having fun. The Witch Bulletin can only be given to officially recognized witches, so yes, she certainly is. She is probably enjoying the notion of finally being acknowledged by the other witches. That's so great, Master! I'm happy for you, too! I didn't even have time to focus on my reason for attending the party. The witch that cursed me. Was she really there? Wait, whatever happened to Monty? Master Mommy left during the afternoon that day to go on an adventure. Just look like behind the house. You'll, you'll probably see her there soaking in the swamp. Leah is all better now, so I'm sure you'll be just dandy without me here. Ta ta for nosies! Good impression there, Alicino. <laughs> Those were her parting words. She's a real free spirit, huh? A self-proclaimed world traveler, indeed. Jeez, she could have stayed a little longer. Hmm? Hmm? What, what, what's this horrid smell coming from outside? A visitor? This is rare. Yikes! It's a gigantic bug! of a dog. Such a strong sense of smell is a liability when one cannot handle such stimulation. Arlecchino, this isn't the time to calmly explain our current situation. Is this the Swamp Witch's house? What the yeah, heck is that? It stood up! <laughs> yes, this is the witch's residence. Oh, Kalu Kale! Still, this is not quite what I imagined. Where is the Swamp Witch? I must beg her for assistance. Shocking. A request for Master Leah? Just a moment and I shall fetch her. I heard that someone has a request. Huh? The hell's this thing? It's a giant Burry Dongo? Dongo. This is the visitor asking for you, Master Leah. Metalia. From the looks of it, this seems to be the famous Princess Buridongo, known well around these parts. <laughs> a princess, huh? You'll make me blush. A Buridongo? I've never seen one before. She can stand up and speak. So is she a bug, or is she some type of fairy, or... <laughs> a Buridongo a fairy? No! Please don't compare me to those icky fairies. <laughs> Aw, she said wooed. <laughs> Whoa, does that mean furry dongles are higher on the food chain than fairies or something? Generally speaking, no. But 
This one has a lot of pride. Pride in being a buried down girl. He sounds like the people from like uh from, from those nature shows where they're like And now we see the proud buried dongle eating its food on a tree. <laughs> I I want to support the prince. Huh? Support the prince? You know what you're saying? Yes, I know. I just like the prince so much. Like him? Like you like like the prince? Is that what you mean? Ah, oh, yes. Currently, Amataya Kingdom does not have any male heirs. Therefore, I do not believe she refers to a real prince. Ugh, I get it. You want to support your prince. Then go burrow into the ground and never come back up. That's the best support you can give. Huh? But then I'll never be able to meet my lovely prince. Exactly. Forget about the prince. Bam! Case closed! How is this case closed? I must support him somehow! Does she mean... Like I um, said, it's useless. Visco? If you understand, go home. Why is it useless? I don't understand at all. You really have no idea what you are, do you? It's a waste of time talking to you. Go home and nestle into your trash pile like a good Buridongo. I... I won't forgive you for making fun of us Buridongos. How wooed. I won't ask you for anything. I was stupid to come here. Jeez. I can't waste my first favor on something idiotic like that. But, Master Leo, listen to this excerpt from the witch doctrine you so idolize. A true witch declines no favor. Declining is easy, whereas accepting is difficult. Yeah, I know. That's why I gave her my advice. Anything she tries will be useless. Useless, huh? I agree that a furry dongle falling in love with a prince is weird, but... Maybe if she goes about it the right way, there could be something even she could do. Huh? Uh, um, I mean... Man. You don't get it either. Alright, tell you what. Lucini, 100 Knight. Go and find that dumb Burry Dongo. If a way exists for her to support a prince besides burrowing into the dirt, fine. I'll grant one wish. Really? Any kind of wish she wants? Yeah. Assuming you find a way she can support him the way she is. But who's this prince? Okay, Do we have find to find her a prince princess. that she can support? I'm confused. And if you find any damn pillars, make sure you bloom them, Hundred Knight. Yeah, yeah. Act 3, Chapter 7. The Witch and the Bug Princess. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna end this here. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're gonna go help a buried dongo on the next part. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.